Life is all about ups and downs. You win some and you lose some. But these life rules only apply to normal folks. There are several individuals whose mere association turn golden opportunities into glittering sand. Apparently, Hollywood director Zack Snyder seems to have the same curse as the Greek evil Medusa. Hi and welcome to TFI Post Entertainment. I'm your host Ansh Pandey. If you're watching us live on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share and follow the page. Let's begin with the video report. If messing up a good script was an art, Zack Snyder would take the cake. He is the perfect antithesis to keep the saying that keep it simple, keep it entertaining. For those unversed, let me tell you briefly who he is. He is a Hollywood director, producer, screenwriter and cinematographer. Zack made his debut in 2004 with the remake of 1978 horror Dawn of the Dead. After that, he worked in numerous famous and infamous films like 300, Watchman, Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, among others. Zack Snyder is notorious for adapting stories and ruining a perfect plot. From the very first movie, he has been in controversy for terribly messing up the plotline and traversing the route in the wrong direction. For example, in Dawn of the Dead, to stand out of the league and give the movie a Snyder touch, he showed zombies differently. Rather than usually depicting staggering and stumbling walk, zombies run like they are some sort of athletes. Furthermore, the movie focuses on action rather than horror elements. The DC franchise heavily relies on the success of its Batman and Superman films. Initially, the franchise broke a good deal and robed in acclaimed Hollywood director Christopher Nolan for their Batman series. True to his work, Nolan catapulted the Batman trilogy to new heights. These movies were both commercial as well as critical successes. But the last decade has not been that great for the DC franchise. Despite the shoddy directorial track record for Zack Snyder, DC made a terrible decision and entrusted him to direct Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Let me tell you something. Zack Snyder is the real-life personification of Murphy's first law that states that anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. Zack Snyder made a complete mess out of DC's mega crossover movie, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. To be honest, it was a horrific movie, which was vehemently disliked by both R and DC fans as well as normal viewers. While adapting a comic book into a film, incorporating changes is not a new thing and it is understandable. But what Zack Snyder did was that he cherry-picked unrelated events from the DC comic verse. He then awfully stitched these different timelines together to give the film the worst direction possible. Rather than minor amendments, he adulterated the major events like incomprehensible fight between Batman and Superman. He messed up it so bad that he posed a massive challenge for the DC franchise to undo the harm he had done to redeem the actual timeline so that it remained logical and entertaining. This abhorrent adulteration infuriated even the most ardent of fans. The bombardment of new information, its complexity, and the crisscrossing of events made it so incomprehensible to viewers not familiar with the original source. His hyper-aggressive visual style completely overwhelmed the audience. On the top of this, the pitch-black environment made it unbearable experience. Zack Snyder seems to have a problem of misplaced priority. His prime focus seems to be on making a few eye-catching visuals rather than giving a complete entertainment package. However, this is not an isolated incident of failure. Nearly all his movies are excruciatingly painful for the eyes and brain, so much that they require a few days to recover from the horrific experience and you may need to undergo rehab to get your normal senses. He is a frustrating director and if you watch few more of his films, you may even start hating cinema altogether. 